I need cream, cream, cream on cream. Cash rules, everything around me. I need Arab money, no Saudi. Rings on my steering wheel, that's Audi. He all up in my DMs, for emojis. Way too thirsty, so I threw him a drink. So this vlog is going to be a little bit different to my other vlogs. I'm just going to talk to you guys about basically how to get the best out of yourself. How to be the best version of yourself. Um, some of the things that I practice on a day-to-day -day basis to just feel better about life. I know it's been a tough year for a lot of people. The first thing that I kind of wanted to touch on was how to care less about unimportant things now if you guys know me you know that i used to stress about dumb shit and i used to suffer from really really bad anxiety and it was all in my head like i can't explain it to you guys but if you know you know so one of the things that i kind of done to kind of help myself is i taught myself how to not care oh what the fuck I taught myself how to not care about about unimportant things. It's easier said than done, trust me. Once you can separate the things you have control over from the things you don't have control over, your life will be a lot simpler, less stressful. You'll have less anxiety. And that was something that I had to learn over a long period of time. Trust me, it took me a long time but it really helped with my mental well-being. Try not to think about things you can't control. Identify your fears. So if you're scared of something specific or if something is making you anxious or causing stress, face it, deal with it head on, don't avoid it. The longer you avoid it, the longer and harder it's gonna get for you to sort it out. And when I say identify your fears, I mean, Think of like the worst case scenario that could happen. And then think about, okay, if that was to happen, how would I deal with that situation? What would I do to make that situation a better situation? So that you're always one step ahead when it comes to your problems. Think of a way to help yourself become less stressed. So, oh my gosh, guys, I put these clips in and they're so tough i'm really struggling like proper struggling with this i practice mindful meditation now a lot of people think oh meditation i don't know how to do it i can't do it it takes long i try to meditate it doesn't work you need to be patient when you're meditating you can't just close your eyes for five seconds and be like oh it's not working oh i still feel the same like you really really need to take time out go on youtube do some research, do some reading about meditation. There's many different ways you can meditate. Mindful meditation helps you control your thoughts. And if you can control your thoughts, you can control your feelings, you can control your emotions. And I'm really not, sorry, I'm just, my eyelashes are drooping. <laughs> I'm not making this up, guys. Like, I'm proper not making this up. It is real life. Show yourself some respect. Like, when I say show yourself some respect, I mean, if you say you're gonna do something, do it. Don't procrastinate and, oh, I'll do it tomorrow, I'll do it five minutes. Do it now. Respect what you've said you're gonna do and do it. Why do you think, like, for example, if you work, right, and your manager tells you to do something, you do it in a heartbeat. You don't question them. If it's something that's in your job title that you're supposed to be doing, you're gonna do it. So why is it that when you say to yourself, oh, I'm gonna do this or I'm gonna do that, you don't do it? It's lack of self-respect. Write down daily affirmations. When I say daily affirmations, I mean things like, um, I am great, I am powerful. In order to reach your goals in life, you need self-discipline and you need consistency. Self-discipline and consistency, they go hand in hand. Without discipline, it's hard to be consistent. You can't be consistent if you're not disciplined. You can develop these skills by starting with small manageable goals like, okay, I'm gonna work out for 15 minutes a day, or okay, I'm gonna drink a liter of water every single day, or okay, I'm gonna do one thing to work towards my goals a week. That will build up your discipline. If you say you're gonna do something and you don't do it, hold yourself responsible. I used to be a massive complainer. 
The whole world was against me. I used to sit there, complain, the whole world was against me, rah, 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 rah. But what was I doing to help myself? Nothing, nothing. Take yourself seriously. Like, I said I was gonna stop eating meat. I stopped eating meat. I said I was gonna stop drinking alcohol. I stopped drinking alcohol. I said I was going to stop smoking. I stopped smoking. Don't say you're gonna do something just because it sounds good, because you're not gonna get anywhere. You're just gonna just be talking shit. And no one likes anyone that talks shit. People like people that get things done. Successful people are people that get shit done, not people that talk, because it sounds good. Write down your progress to see how far you've come and help that to motivate you to go further, to push further, to want to do more. Write down your progress, guys. It really helps. It proper helps. It helps you to stick to what you say you're gonna do and motivate you to want to do more, trust me. Get rid of temptations, get rid of them. Now, I, when I stopped smoking, I had to get rid of every little thing that reminded me of smoking. And it got to the point where I didn't even have a lighter in my house to light a candle or to light a sage. I kind of effed myself over a bit, but I didn't care because there was nothing to remind me of that life or nothing to remind me of that version of myself. Get rid of distractions. If you have to delete social media for a bit, delete it. It's not going anywhere. It's still gonna be there when you log back in. It's still gonna be there when you reinstall it on your phone. It ain't going nowhere. Delete it. Do you know what I mean? If you feel like you're spending too much time doing something that's not helping you get to your goals, if you're spending too much time with someone that's not helping you get towards your goals, get rid of it. Get rid of distractions. Don't overthink. Now, this is my problem. I overthink everything. I overthink the smallest little thing. I will overthink it and overthink it and say until I put myself off doing it. The thing is, when you overthink something, you're gonna end up with two scenarios. It's either you overthink it so much that you put yourself off of it doing it completely and you don't end up getting it done, or you overthink it, spend ages overthinking it, and then you end up doing it anyway, wasting all that time thinking about it and you're still gonna end up doing it. And then the last thing that I kinda wanted to get into with you guys was, um, it's actually come out came out all right i just need to re-straighten the front the importance of manifestation so manifestation is one of those things you hear about it you think does it work and you're never going to know if it works unless you practice it right so like one thing that i do to help practice manifestation is i tell myself what i want to hear be specific and it's very important guys you really have to imagine and be specific about the things that you want in order for them to come into fruition so like you can't bring something to life if you're not specific about what you want visualize it in your head make it feel as real as it's going to be when you achieve it and you can do it through prayer if you're religious um you can meditate and imagine and visualize you can speak your intentions into existence um you know say it out loud tell people that will also make it a lot more real it's important to show gratitude even if you're not religious guys sorry my eyelashes are just doing dumb shit like i'm gonna end up taking them off because they look shit today it is very important to show gratitude, even if you're showing gratitude to yourself, you know, be grateful for the things that you have achieved. Remind yourself of, of why you are lucky, why you are blessed. No one else is going to remind you apart from yourself. No one else is going to care as much as you. Do you know what I mean? No one else is gonna do that. So, so that is important. My hair is doing a lot right now. The thing about manifestation is it goes hand in hand with actions. So it's all well and good you saying, oh, I'm manifesting that I'm gonna be rich. I'm manifesting that I'm gonna do this or be that. You have to take actions daily to get to that stage. I told myself I was gonna stop drinking, eating meat and doing all these bad things like smoking and, and all these things that are not good for my health. Guess what? I done it. Like. 
I done it. I never thought I'd do it ever. Me, I've never thought I would do that, but I've done it. So guys, I hope I have motivated you to want to be a better version of yourself, to want to go out there and go for the stuff that you want to go for, because at the end of the day, time waits for nobody. I need cream, cream, cream on cream, casuals, everything around me. I need Arab money, no Saudi, rings on my steering wheel, that's Audi. He'll up in my DMs, bear emojis, way too thirsty, so I threw him a drink.